At this time, 10 years ago, Aaron Judge was receiving recruiting letters from UCLA, Stanford, and Notre Dame, but not for baseball. Ultimately, he chose a partial scholarship at Fresno State to play the sport he loved most, near his hometown of Linden, California. In time, Judge emerged as a new face of baseball. As he's found, superstardom in this sport is difficult to achieve and even harder to sustain. Aaron Judge has known one professional employer. He's become a Rookie of the Year and All-Star in Yankee pinstripes. The sort of success Judge knew he could achieve, but wasn't always obvious to the scouts and coaches who once projected him as a pitcher or a tight end on Saturday afternoons. Can you describe what it was like to be recruited for football by Jim Harbaugh back in the day? At the time, you know, there was letters coming in from all colleges all around the country, so it was a pretty cool experience. But as cool as it was, you know, talking to a lot of high-powered college football coaches and programs, baseball is still my one true love. I got a dream and it's all I see. The decision to follow his heart and stick with baseball was a good one. In 2017, Judge was an MVP candidate and put together one of the great rookie seasons in MLB history. All rise! Aaron Judge has been great, taking baseball by storm. A two-run home run for the magical rookie! When you finish as high as you finish in the MVP so early in your career, Aaron, and you look at all you've already achieved, where are the sources of inspiration to constantly improve and get even better? There's something you can always improve on. When the Rookie of the Year, man, I wasn't satisfied with that. I wasn't satisfied with just getting one game away from the World Series. I want to win a World Series. I want to win multiple World Series. Choo-choo. And that one hits Judge. He was in some pain. Just like that, the air goes out of the room. After a sensational rookie season, injuries have slowed Judge's ascent. He had shoulder surgery in 2017, then a fractured wrist one year later. And this season, an oblique strain cost him nearly two months. I think it's just the failures in the game. That's what motivates me. So this year, you know, getting a chance to have my time to recover, and get the body right. Whenever you're healthy and can work on things, it's always the best. Judge slams that deep right field. Uh-huh, it's gone. Oh, no, he did it again. You think about all the expectations that have been put on you from very early in your career, the face of baseball, very rightfully so. How have you maybe been able to take that and, and see the fun in that? Because the expectations can sometimes feel heavy. Yeah, pressure's fun. You know, pressure's all how you use it or apply it or see it. You know, sometimes people can feel pressure is, you know, overbearing too much, but when people set high expectations, well, you know, my expectations are even higher than that. So what everybody else expects out of me, that's nothing compared to what I'm trying to do every single day, so it's uh, constant motivation there.